What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and with all these new laser projectors popping up all over the place, I figured it was a good time to talk about traditional lamp-based projectors versus laser and LED projectors. So LG was nice enough to sponsor today's video and they make some fantastic laser and LED projectors which I'll use for comparison in this video. So over the past few years we've seen a lot of new laser and LED projectors pop up so today I want to compare the different light sources and give you the pros and cons of each of these technologies. Now this can be a little bit complicated since there are low and high end projectors in all three categories but I'm going to try to stick with some of the most popular models to keep it simple. All right, so first let's start with LED projectors. LED based projectors are usually pretty small and they have similar characteristics to laser projectors. Some of these benefits include a long lifespan, which is usually somewhere between 20,000 and 30,000 hours, less heat, better portability, and lower cost. And considering the long lifespan of LED projectors compared to the typical three to 4,000 hours of lamp life that you get from a traditional lamp, you don't have to buy a replacement bulb every few years, which which can cost you anywhere from a hundred to a thousand bucks. So LED projectors are a great way to get into home theater without spending a ton of money, but one of the major limitations is that LED is the least brightest light source, and as you know, a brighter light source allows you to get a bigger and less washed out image. So because manufacturers know that consumers want bright projectors, you'll usually see some insane brightness claims out there. Now to be fair, not all inexpensive LED projector manufacturers lie about their brightness, but the market is flooded with brands making insane claims like 6,000 or more lumens, and they're not anywhere close to that. Now I've talked about this in the past, but the one thing to look out for is ANSI lumens, which is an industry standard that gives us a more accurate measurement of projector brightness. So most of the LED projectors that cost less than $300 are usually somewhere between the realm of three to 400 ANSI lumens. So if you're expecting a movie theater like experience, then you have to go with a little bit more expensive projector. So to put this into perspective, I'd say that any projector with less than a thousand ANSI lumens works best with a small screen like 80 or 90 inches in complete darkness. And a thousand to 2400 lumens allows you to go with an even bigger screen in a dark room and projectors with 2400 lumens or more allow you to possibly use them in a room with some ambient light. And a great option if you're looking for the benefits of LED is the LG HU70 LA. So I've reviewed this projector last year and it's pretty much in a league of its own when it comes to LED projectors. It has an LED light source that produces 1500 ANSI lumens, it has great color accuracy, supports HDR10, and comes with LG's WebOS so you don't have to buy a Roku or any other streaming device. So if you're looking for a projector that has a long lasting light source but you don't want to have to spend several thousand on a laser projector, projector, then this is a fantastic option. The next light source I want to talk about is lamp-based projectors. So chances are if you've seen a projector in someone's house, it was probably lamp-based. Lamps are the most common light source found in long throw and standard throw projectors, and they have a lifespan of around three to 4,000 hours. Now as far as cost, these projectors are all over the place, but most budget units do cost less than their laser counterparts. Now some people might think that lamp projectors are inferior to laser, but they do have a few benefits over laser in some instances, which is why why they're often used in high-end home theaters. So depending on the projector, lamp projectors sometimes have better black levels, better color accuracy, and lower cost than laser. So for example, take something like the Epson 5050UB, which is a $3,000 mid-range lamp-based projector. This projector is super bright and has fantastic color accuracy and black levels that are difficult for most mid-range laser projectors to match. The downside is that the cost is pretty much right up there with 4K laser projectors and it's not true 4K. Now if you had the budget then you can go out and grab something like the JVC NX7 which is a fantastic lamp projector that has amazing image quality but it only produces 1900 lumens so it works best in a dark room. On top of that it has an average lamp life of 4000 hours like most lamp projectors but the replacement lamp costs around 800 bucks. So if you're the type of person who watches TV for several hours a day you could be replacing a bulb fairly often which tends to add up over time and if you go too long on this same bulb it can start to turn yellow and even possibly explode. 
All right, so this is where laser projectors come in. So there are two major types of laser projectors. You can get an ultra short throw laser projector, also known as a laser TV, or you can get a long throw laser projector. Now, even though they're not perfect, laser projectors do have a few benefits. The first benefit is one I mentioned earlier, which is lamp life. So like LED projectors, laser projectors usually have a lamp life ranger from 20,000 to 30,000 hours. And aside from lamp life, other laser projector benefits include a brighter image considering it's using laser as a light source, ultra short throw, also known as laser TV capability, and much faster startup time since a bulb doesn't have to warm up. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of laser projectors. So first I wanna talk about the latest option, which is the ultra short throw laser projectors, which I'll call laser TVs for simplicity. So laser TVs are super bright and easy for the average person to set up since they sit on a TV stand and they don't usually require professional installation. And when you pair one of these with an ambient light rejecting screen, you can get a fantastic image even in a room with some sunlight. And if you have a dedicated home theater and you still want the advantages of a laser light source, then you can purchase a long throw laser projector like the LG HU810P, which is a dual laser projector that produces 2700 lumens with great color accuracy. And this brings me to one of the downsides of laser projectors, which is cost. So the LG HU85LA laser TV that I mentioned earlier usually costs around $5,000. The HU810P retails for $3,000 and high-end laser projectors go for even more. Now again, the cost of bulb replacement from lamp projectors does offset this cost a little bit, but upfront costs are always a harder pill to swallow. Another downside that comes along with laser projectors is black levels. Now this is more of an issue with bright laser projectors, but bright lamp-based projectors sometimes have better black levels than bright laser projectors. So to sum everything up, the main thing to keep in mind is that you have to determine which one of these types of projectors fits your needs. If you're on a super tight budget and you don't plan on using it on a daily basis, then an inexpensive LED projector might be the right fit for you. And if you have a slightly higher budget and you don't mind replacing a lamp every few years and you don't need an ultra short throw, then you can step up to a lamp-based projector. And if you plan on watching several hours of TV or movies on a daily basis, or you want the simplicity of a laser TV, then a laser might be a better fit for you. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have that bell notification turned on because I have a few more ultra short throw projector reviews coming really soon. If you found this video helpful, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.